Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of A Proverb A Day Keeps the Enemy Away. It's a Bible reading and study initiative for children brought to you by Excel Ministries Middle East. Now over the next 31 days, we're going to take one proverb a day and go into a reading plan where children are going to read from each of the proverb. At the same time, the teachers are going to pick out one verse from each proverb and share a word of wisdom. We hope that this uh, study and reading will bless all the children and the teachers together and allow us to go through the journey of reading this beautiful book of Proverbs. Now, this is our first episode and before we go to Proverbs 1, I want to give you a quick overview of Proverbs that will help us in the journey. Now, the nature of Proverb is very important to understand as we start this journey together. Proverb are short sayings that gives you a word of wisdom. It is not to be considered as a book of law, as are so many other books in the Bible. It is not to be considered as a book of prophecy. It does not have an application for the future when it comes to being a prophecy. And most importantly, I think where many people err is taking this book of wisdom as a book of promise. And that's something we should refrain from because many words looks like it has an effect that gives a promise, but it does not. A simple example to share is the words, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. It's a word of wisdom that gives you a practical application that has a positive, probable outcome, but the outcome may not be always as it is considered because this is a wisdom saying that tells you if you do so this could be the probable outcome so while we explore this book it is very important for us to understand and take the proverb as an important uh, part of scripture uh, wisdom literature that God has put in his wisdom into these books so that we can have practical application of these sayings very quickly also we can uh, go into the divisions of the Proverbs so it's easy for us to follow through. Now the authorship is accredited to uh, Solomon which is mentioned a few times over in the Proverb but there are many others who also wrote these. There are many wise sayings of the wise men. There is also Hezekiah's collection of so Solomon's Proverbs itself in few of the parts. There are the sayings of Agur and also there is a non-Jewish king by the name of Lemuel who is also writing into these Proverbs. Now the first nine chapters acts as a prologue to the Proverbs that starts from the bigger chunk which is from chapter 10 to 29. So while we read 1 to 9, we understand few things where there is a father's dialogue with his son and at the same time wisdom being represented as a lady that gives us a base. These are not short sayings but rather longer sayings that gives us a base and the fundamental basis for us to look into the Proverbs that comes in the second section which is from chapter 10 to 29. And there is an epilogue of two chapters written by various people various topic uh, uh, that, that concludes into chapter 31. So as we go through this journey, let's keep these things in mind. It's a beautiful book where God asks us to be wise because God expects his children to be wise and he wants to apply this wisdom in our daily life because we are accountable for our life and we need to give an account and this is a book that tells us in many areas of our life how to conduct and how not to conduct ourselves. We hope this is a blessing for all of you and on we go to the first proverb and may God bless all of you.